Hi there, this is Jennifer with Rome Fields, and today I'm gonna to show you how I do this elongated uh, shawl. I am using a super bulky yarn and a size 15 knitting needle. So I want it to be a nice bulky stitch. So I'm just gonna do a little swatch about like this. And so that will, so you can see it's a garter stitch a swatch. I'm just going to show you how I cast on to increase and then to decrease. So to get started I'm going to do one stitch and I just pull that through the loop. So I twist it around and pull. So with one stitch on the knitting needle I'm going to increase one stitch. So I'm going to insert my needle as if to knit. I'm going to knit one stitch into the front of the stitch. And I'm going to wrap my needle around and go back through to knit into the back of the stitch. So then I create two stitches. And then I'm going to knit three rows. So we have three rows in between each increase. So that's one. That looks a little squished at first, and then that is three. Now we're going to increase. So increasing the stitch, so I always on the, I always try to increase my first stitch versus the last stitch on every row, so I don't forget. So I'll increase into the front and the back, and then knit one. So you always increase the first stitch and then knit the remainder of the row. And then we're gonna knit three rows. So that was one, two, and three. So when you increase a stitch, you get a purl stitch. So that way you can tell which side you don't have a purl stitch. You have a knit stitch on that side and a purl stitch on this one. So that was the knit front and back created that purl. So we're going to increase one more stitch. So we have four stitches and then I'll show you the decrease. So we're going to knit into the front of that stitch, kind of twist it and go back through to knit into the back of it. So this is gonna create this bar in the front. So this was the knit stitch and that's like a purl stitch. And then we're gonna knit the remainder of the row. And you just keep repeating in this pattern until it's as wide as you want and about as long. And then we'll start our decrease, so this was Knit one row, knit the second row, knit the third row, So now we're back on the side. So on this side, you could put like a little stitch marker or something on this side so you know which side to uh, increase a stitch on. Hmm, I'm gonna take that. Yeah, there's a pearl. Pearl there and a pearl there. So that's, this is the actual pearl row. So it's in between where the knit stitches should be. You'll have a pearl stitch there. So now we're going to do the decrease. So we're gonna knit this first stitch. So I always knit the first stitch to keep an even edge. So then we're gonna slip, knit, pass the slip stitch over. So that second stitch is the one we're gonna be decreasing. And then we'll knit the remainder of the row. And then knit three rows 
when you have three stitches. So one, two, And of course, you don't have to make this swatch with me. Just watch the first half as you increase the stitches. And then when you're ready to, to decrease, uh, come back and watch this, uh, which is very handy. <laughs> I've had to, to do that myself. So now we have three stitches. So we're going to knit this first stitch. And then we're going to slip, knit, pass the slipped stitch over. And then we're going to knit three rows because we want the first, the beginning rows and the end rows to match. And that was one. Two. Three. And now we have the two stitches, so we're going to slip that first stitch, knit the second stitch, and then pass that slipped stitch over. So that gives us our last stitch. And just kind of pull it, and then you can weave in the ends. So that way, the beginning and the end look the same. So that's our middle row, our beginning, and our end. So that is it. That is how you increase your stitches until it's as wide as you want, and then you start your decrease. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tutorial, and I'll see you guys again next time. Thank you so much for watching.